this is Ghetto Fish V60. This is a bit weird for me because I'm on the opposite side of the camera. So, I'll come out of shit and pull weird faces. That's me being normal. Um, this is a video on feeding the corn snakes and how I feed my corn snakes. I feed my corn snakes out of the enclosure. I feel like that if you feed them out of the enclosure, you've got a less chance of getting nabbed when they're hungry. But first of all, what I do on feeding day, I have my little mice and little pinkies. Well, not pinkies, I've got little fluffy, little furbies for the corn snakes. I give them two. They're used to having two now. These are little fluffies and furbies, and these are for the pythons. But with my process of feeding the corn snakes, I have two containers which are here because I have two corn snakes living together. If you have two snakes living together, people say you can do it, some people say you can't do it. It's totally down to you, you are the owner at the end of the day, it's test and error. But I've got two together, they live totally fine together, but I never feed them obviously in, in the same tank, the same food because they possibly could eat each other. And you really don't want that to happen. First step first, obviously you take the lids off. But when you get your snakes out on feeding day, yeah, you must remember it ain't the same snake that you call, oh I like my snake, he's my baby, he's my child. Definitely not. You gotta remember the food's in the air. If you can check even at her, the food's out now, she's on it. She wants her food. So even with her I can't pick her up and say, oh, let's be friends. So I'm gonna show you quickly how you deal with feeding time. Oh this one's a bit aggy today because he knows it's dinner time. Put my man in there, one time, no cuddles, no nothing. Let's keep it nice and easy. A bit, a bit, I don't know, swaying a little bit today. So that's done. Put that on top. Once these two are on top, gives you a chance to sit down and deal with this after and clean. Next stage, what you do, you have all these, always these. Make sure you always got these because the moment you touch these, you have it on your fingers, you will think they're in feeding mode. Nine times out of ten, when the snake strikes out and bites you, it is out of defence. But in feeding mode, if he bites you, there's a good chance he will clamp on you. So you will have that snake on your finger for a good, good time. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to grab one here. And obviously you've got to see the size difference between my snakes. My man's bigger here. So what we do, let's dry him off here. Like there. Oh look he's head. Uh -uh. And what I can tell by the size difference for these, I would say these two go to the snow. These two to the annuary, but I think this way round, what was like dealing? Anyway, well, the reason why I give one bigger than another because obviously it's bigger, it's a bit obvious. And I'll show you the difference. You can see their tongues flickering, they know it's dinner time, they are on it. So, what I'm going to feed first is the annuary corn snake. So, I'm grab one of these, make sure you always got a good grip on it, always have a good grip on it because you do tend to drop it. Slowly remove this, show it in front of the snake, you soon see a taste of it, make him tease a little bit, there you go, boom, Bob's your uncle. He thinks he's a python, silly little sod. Yeah, yeah I know they are, it's just funny how they try to properly wrap it up proper. Anyway, you leave him, he will eat that within under five minutes, and then you process feed the next one. I'm going to give my fat boy Snowy the corn snake. Ooh, squeeze cuts out. Oh yeah, that's some good shit. Now this Snow, he's my boy. He's sick, he always needs food. So Gemma and Dave, watch him now. He does not ramp with food. He knows something's going down. I'll give him a little woof of it. Or you can have a little play, we can't even have a play with him. You see this here now? This is a feeding response. See he's clamping on this right now. If your finger smells of food, this will what happen to your finger. He will not let go. He's going to hold that because he say, thinks that's dinner. Let him have that. He don't tend to wrap up as much as my man in there. Leave these guys for a while and they will process the feed. While these guys are finishing eating, I'm going to show you feeding my python. This is my Enchi Ball Python. Um, yeah, Enchi Ball Python, Shirley. Shirley Carter from EastEnders. You know EastEnders, you know. She's a beast. She knows. She knows it's dinner time straight away. There we go. I don't even need to play with her. Now, Dave and Gemma, you're watching. If you have any like, nervousness about your snake, look at that. That's 
that's that's that's serious. Like you got to be more scared of that than you would be at the corn. So don't worry about when you feed and all that. Even these guys. Oh, she's got that. This edgy. This edgy don't. You can see her just just tighten it even more. This this she don't run. She really 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 doesn't play about as a snake. But yeah, that's enough about her. We're gonna move on to the corns again. Twenty minutes later, people. Shirley's decided to grab her food. She is a annoying little shit. She likes grabbing it and then she wants you. She let go of it and then she wants you to pick it up again and then you put it down and the food gets too cold and she starts looking at you for dinner and just like ah. Uh, and you notice, look at me. I'm bloody guarded up, mate. You're I ain't ramping with this thing. You're mad. No way. I love her to bits. Oh, that's my security guard, Floyd. Floyd Mayweather. He's watching over the snakes as no one does no runners. Good boy. But yeah, that's it really. I'm gonna do them yet. Next stage I'm feeding them, you can see their belly nice and popping a little bit. But they're looking for food again. The reason why I believe that I feed them to mice and fuzzy is because if you look at these, this one over here doing it. Yeah, she's yamming her food. This one over here now. But if you look at these, they're not mature. Not mature. No form way. Not like, like look. No fur. No nothing. You've got a little tiny bit of fur going on. The the little they're much, little bit bigger than the pinkies. But what we do now? Take these guys. This is the reason why I feed them too, so they get enough nutrition. So once they move on to the furry things, that's when I'll slap them to once a week. Same thing I've done with my pythons now. They are once a week now of these guys. But here we go, I'm gonna feed this guy chronic. Make sure when you open the lid, your fingers are nowhere near. See you twitching out already? Always, always stress the people. You may love your snakes, but it's not the same snake as, mm -hmm. well you see, he's, he's twisting with his fat belly. It's not the same snake that you cuddle every single day. He's in the food response. He will bite you. Now my man here, he's swaying in there. You look over you look over the snow. He's on it. He ain't the same snake. When you see a snake move like this and his head swinging, his tongue's flicking like that. He's on it. I'll see if he bite my toe. Nah, he ain't just my toe. What we do here? He's on it. See, nice chunky one here. We've got to hurry up because Shirley over there is nearly done. But what are we do here? Ready? This is the last one. Always be prepared. Make sure where the face is, away from your hand, always. Oh, there we go, stuck again. And there we go. What should we do? Show him the food. There we go. He don't ram it. He loves his dinner. He loves his grub. Come get your dinner. Good boy. And that's it, really. You wait for them done, I'll show you after in a second how you um, take them, remove them from here and put them back to the home. I'll show you how to do that. But I have to move over to her now because she's got to go back home. So um, let me come back to you in a sec. See these guys are around. Look at this one there. It's a snow one, Gemma. This is what I'm talking about. He's a piggy. He loves his grub, but as I said, always, always, I'll always feed pinkies. Just get them nice nutrition on them. Let's have a show on them. Here we go. Look at snow. He's like, yeah. There we go. She missed one feed during last week. She was shedding. She's on it now. Let's see if we can make a miss a strike. Done it once, but she's really good. Watch, we'll bring it right to the nose. Here we go. Come on, go. Boom. One time. That's it. Now I'm going to show you how to put your corns away. And then that's all we've done now. That's how you feed your snakes. All we do now, lift this open. Make sure the water's changed, I'll do that in a second, don't worry about that. 
all you do is pick the container up, open the lid, make sure your finger's away from the man, scroll down, he knows where his home is, and he'll just, just happily just go back home. There we go. One. See his belly's nice and popped, nice and happy. This is number two. And what I do is that. He knows what he's doing. He normally does. Slowly, slowly, slowly. You don't want to drop the snake on his body, especially when it's just eaten. You just want to kind of glide it out like that. There you go. That's all you've got to do when you're feeding. Um, this is Ghetto Fish 360. And a great thank you for the help for Fruit 360. Love, love, people. Peace. Oh yeah, this is Ghetto Fish 360. I just forgot to have a, also a big shout out to my beautiful feet, as they also was a star in the video. As you can tell, I got pretty feet, my little caveman feet, busted little muscle sausage finger feet, and my big toe feet. This is Ghetto Fish 360. What are you doing? Don't do that. No, they're better when they're shown off. Oh, don't do that.